Welcome back. In this lecture, we will work out this admin logout uh, link. So we'll create a log logout.php page. Uh, if the admin wants to log out, then he she can simply come and create a new page, new PHP page. Save it using Control S inside the admin underscore area. Limit logout.php. And at this point, when someone clicks, I mean, some the admin clicks the logout button, so we will destroy the session that we already created. First of all, we will start the session, and then we will session underscore destroy. Session destroy. Session score destroy. Yes, and uh, we'll simply redirect the admin to login.php using window dot open command in JavaScript. Self attribute will it? This will be a self window. We'll say login.php and we'll create a, a, a URL variable logged underscore out. We can echo this. This will be equal to you have logged out. Come back soon. That's it. Roll is to save and we can echo this logged underscore out. URL uh, or here in the login page. Just copy this whole thing and control C to copy and control V to paste and simply change this to logged underscore out. That's it. So if someone is using the above one, that will show up, and if someone is logged out then this will show just refresh the page and click admin logout so you are taken to this page you have logged out come back soon this is the variable so without entering password and username anyone cannot access that log uh, I mean admin panel but one problem is still remaining that uh, if someone just writes something like uh, localhost and e-commerce this is the website and after that admin area so they cannot enter to log main, uh, I mean admin area because they have to pass this login form but if someone directly wants to I mean access insert underscore product.php page they are still able to, to, to come here to see this page also to see this page view underscore products dot php they can see this page and can do whatever they want with this they also can see view view cares dot php page you can see over here and these all pages that are inside the admin panel we have included them when someone will click a link so all you have to do a uh, very simply just copy this code that we have already here this one and put this into all pages I will just give you an example for I mean these all pages just something like edit product so we'll simply we'll copy this only this this part this and just close this bracket here after the page the whole page so now if you click that page I mean this one not this one you just refresh this it will take you to admin login 
that's why because we have added now the condition and this is very important for security reasons so anyone cannot find your pages which are open to public and this thing you can do for all of the pages for example for 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 view view products as well this add php paste that code and here after the table close php that bracket i mean the else bracket this now if someone goes to view underscore products page so it will take them to this login admin login form because without login uh, before login they cannot access that page so this we will do for all the pages i mean view categories view customers view brands etc but uh, but but when we logged into our account i mean to admin panel so we can uh, insert new products we can view products we can delete products uh, so we can you know we have uh, this place for that thing i mean for this h3 tag basically this h3 you can uh, sorry this is the the because of the brs can remove the brs from here to list to save and now refresh so it's okay uh you can actually delete products you can edit products you can insert new products categories other things customers orders and payments we will see when someone will order obviously when someone will, uh, will order and purchase something so we'll be see, uh, we'll see payments as well as orders but we have done the logout work uh, and this kind of all works so now this is our shop this person uh, this person has a product for example they add a product to the cart and see their cart so uh, they can you know simply go to checkout and can log in to their account for example we have a customer with the name saimaityahoo.com and wali is their their password so saima at uh, at yahoo.com well is this password so when they come to this page i mean the payment page so they when they they will click this paypal this is simply an image so we will just uh, add real paypal button here so they can directly pay us but this will be online on online server uh, we will upload this whole project to online web server and we will check the payment system and all other things in a real environment in later uh, tutorials but i will first explain the paypal uh, integration to you or here and the i mean the local uh, i mean the local on local host so stay tuned from next video you are starting uh, about paypal integration